This is the drive home with Zach, Alfie and TT for the Mill drive home reporting on the game that just finished at the den. Mill one. Coventry one. Coventry City one boys. But um, yes, one one. Should have been two one. We scored a perfectly good goal as far as I could see. But then when you get a midget dwarf as a ref, two absolute bonehead linesmen, yeah. you're going to get some very dodgy decisions. I mean, today I was um, ball boy and I was literally on their defensive line and um, Bradshaw or Smith was definitely not offside. I don't know why they give it, but um, the linesman got booed afterwards, so he deserved it. It, it, didn't say, it didn't take you long to get the fact that you and Alf were ball boys today. Did you enjoy that experience <laughs> before we go any further? Well, of course. Did you, yeah. enjoy, did you enjoy it, Alf? Yeah, I was in the perfect position at the half, um, halfway, halfway line. line, yeah. How many times did you touch the ball? Three. Which is more than some of our players, to be fair. Um, hmm. Overall, I, I think the point's a fair result. Yeah, I, I, Coventry City created chances more in the first half than they did in the second half. And to be fair, York is there, the striker up front. He's a, he's a decent championship striker who's going to cause problems to other teams and, and they've got I think one of the best players in O'Hare the best creative midfielder what a player what an absolute quality player to watch and if he's in our side it's completely different saying that I felt that you know we obviously weren't pressing high today we decided to give them the ball allow them to play out from the back which surprised me a little bit but then as soon as they tried to play in and around our, our area then we pressed you can say it worked on occasions, but it certainly didn't work every single time. And we and we put ourselves, we put ourselves under unnecessary pressure. In my, it, it, pressure, in my opinion, we started off with Barton goal. Well, There's only one change. Oh, yes, one change from the Swansea lineup. We Barton goal. A back three of Jake Cooper, Murray Wallace, and Daniel Ballard. Fortunately, in the in the starting lineup, right wing back was Ryan Leonard. Left wing back was Scott Malone, two central midfielders in Savile and Kefton Meld, and then kind of a front three with Bradshaw on the left, Jed Wallace on the right, and Smith up front. However, we did, you know, Bradshaw did come into the middle a couple of times. It's, it's tough. Smith won a lot in the air in the first half and, and just wouldn't, just didn't go to the right place, didn't go to the right area. Um, we started the game, we had the first chance, the ball fell, fortunately, really, to... Was it Malone, I think, had the first chance of the game? And, no, sorry, it went to Bradshaw. And Bradshaw took a little bit of time and then, a, and, and then had his shot blocked. He then had another chance where he's cutting from the left and, and had a shot on, well, shot well wide. So we started the game on the front foot and then, obviously, Coventry uh, came into the game a little bit more. The, the, the goal defensively that we um, we conceded was, was pretty poor. It was a ball into the, well, they had it on the edge of the box. We allowed him to run, like QPR-esque, allowed him to run too far. He's played the ball up into Jokes, who's he's kind of bounced around. And you just want one of them to like get rid of it. Cooper to get rid of it, but he didn't. Um, Jokes then just um, comes out on his right and then buries it into the bottom left-hand corner and <clears throat> they take the lead from there and they've had a couple of chances after that could have made it two or three again um, Yorkes absolutely was giving Jake Cooper nightmares today every single time he come up against him one-on-one -on -one, he seemed to have the better of him uh, before I go any uh, further before I say about our goal please drop a like on the video if you like it subscribe we're nearly at 2000 we're slowly creeping our way up there and, and another thing is we love the fact that so many people talk and you know, come up to us and say hello and, and, and they like the channel, which is really, it's really nice. And it's, you know, another part of the fact that we're the Mill family. So we really do enjoy that. So keep, keep stopping us, keep saying hello. We then equalise after the couple of Coventry City chances with probably our first big chance of the game. It was a really well-worked move, actually. The ball's played up to Smith, who then plays it out wide to Kefton Beld, who slides in... Um, just making sure the light doesn't change, which it just has. Uh, slides it into Jed Wallace, who no, does... It was, Len it was actually Leonard that played it down to Jed Wallace. Yeah, sorry. Leonard plays it into um, Jed Wallace. Jed Wallace cuts the ball across. And I, I, I don't think Savile... I think Savile mishits it, actually. I think it bounced into the ground. It might have deflected in. But he's in the right place at the right time. He's put pressure on the defenders to make sure that he's... Um, it's an ambulance, not police. They're not after me just yet. Um, he, he puts it, makes it 1-1. Coventry City again have another couple of chances. Similar play, they controlled the ball really well in and around the box. Some lovely, some lovely interplay, and they're a very good side, and they've got some excellent players. And sometimes you've got to hold your hands up. 
I was just disappointed with, with what we played in the second half and I'll go into that. I felt that the big chance obviously at the end of the first half well Zach, do you wanna say do you wanna do you wanna say it? Do you remember it? Um Well I think it uh like bounced around to Malone and then um Malone smashed it, cut like cut across it and it was a nice save by the keeper. Okay, well, I was talking about our the, a disallowed goal. Oh, <laughs> what dis- oh! Um, but th- so that was a, a ball crossed in. It goes o- well over the head of Smith. So I-, I think that you know I've seen s- things on social media after the game that they gave it for the Smith um, jumping for the ball. But the ball's c- clear. It's cleared him. He's not interfering with play. He's not stopped the defender from getting it. And it falls to Bradshaw at the far post. It's not stopped the keeper from getting it either. It's dropped to Bradshaw at the far post. It does really well with his header, actually. Yeah, buries lo- it. Lovely, lovely technique. Buries it into the bottom uh, left-hand corner. He, and the fact is, he's celebrating. And he gets all the way up until the linesman, until the linesman puts his flag up. He's like, he's realised, hey, it's Millwall, let me put the flag up. I don't, I don't think Keith Shadow had too much of a bad, of a, like, in terms of first half. I felt he was pretty, he, he, he stops the play so often. But he, he didn't have too much of, the second half, he was absolutely unbelievable. And to be What's this absolute lemon doing? Rotherive. Rotherive Tunnel. Always the queue to get in there. It's got to be... Um, it's always a bit of a challenge. But it, it just disappoints me that a, a, an official like that can completely change the game. He, he gave us virtually nothing in, in the game. All those little half decisions didn't go away. Coventry City had the, the first chance of the second half, uh, which was very well saved by Bart. Bart stepped up in the second half and done well. Um, at, Zach, who's your man of the match? That was it was quite a hard one today because no one really stood out. But um I might I might give a, like a honourable mention because he come he come on quite late. Billy Mitchell, he he was he was fantastic when he come on. Uh his his footwork was amazing. Uh but on to my actual man the match. It, it was um it was Leonard for the a little pass down the line to Jed and I, th- I thought he worked quite hard today. Some things didn't exactly work for him but um, I thought he, he played well enough to get it today. Okay, uh, Alf, who was your man of the match? Um, um, Savile. Savile? Be- yeah, because he, he was quite strong in the midfield and did quite well. Okay, uh, my man of the match was Daniel Ballard again. I think this guy is an absolute talent of a player. Really, really solid at the back. He dealt with everything, you know, every everything that came towards him. He dealt with effectively. It was it was only the the, the other side where, um, like I said, Cooper Giocchis went up against Cooper, and he was the one that was struggling. But Ballard again today was absolutely fantastic. Passes the ball around so physically strong, positional wise, he's he's really good. Um, if we go through, I'll, I'll, we'll do a quick. Um, I thought Bart done his job well. Comfortable, comfortable seven or eight out of ten. I felt Ryan Leonard didn't have a great game, if I'm if I'm completely honest. I felt that he, he gave the ball away a couple of times. I, I, I was surprised that it be, he started in front of Billy Mitchell. What he does do well was is 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 win more airily than than Billy. But but we didn't really that wasn't really Coventry's game plan unless that was um, the thing seen. Left wing back. I didn't think that was Scott Malone's great greatest the games either. He had um, the half volley in, in the first half where he swivelled on it. He's looking tired. And the other player that I want to say that's looking tired is Jed Wallace. He was finished the last 25 minutes. And the first time I've seen him look absolutely... He looked really frustrated today. He looked... Um, I don't know. It looked like he'd kind of had enough with the fact that we weren't pressing. Mason Bennett come on in the second half and was trying to press. And I, it was an obvious decision not to press Coventry. Maybe that's... It's been seen that if you press them, I mean, obviously they've got no hair that can break you down. But... It, at home, you want to see us going for it, and it, we, we didn't seem to do that. Like Zach said, I thought Billy Mitchell played well when he came on. Any, any other thoughts, boys, that you want to say? Um, that well, Daniel Ballard was taking a throw in, literally right next to me, and he looked like he was going to pass out. He was red. He had a black eye. Oh my god, he he literally looked like he was going to faint. Well, that's because obviously during midweek. Um, the Swansea game and he, he looked like he was going to miss today but fortunately he didn't I just don't think Savile and Kefton Bell done enough in the midfield Kefton Bell's you know I, 
like Zach said, Billy Mitchell changed the game in terms of having the ball in midfield, trying to trying to get through the lines, and we, and we just didn't do that enough other than for when we scored. But we'll go again Wednesday night. Obviously, we're at home to Leicester in the Cup. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll be there again. Uh, boys, rating out of today, obviously, the fact that you're ball boys, I'm, surprised, I'm sure that's going to give you a little bit more. So what would be your rating? Um... It was probably a nine and three quarters today. Nine and bit three quarters. Bit of a Harry Potter mention. <laughs> a bit of Harry Potter mention. Alf, what would you give today? Um, being a ball boy, ten out of ten. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. But um, the match, it wasn't. Nothing was really going on that that well, and it was a bit more scrappy than usual. So I'll give it like an, an eight or seven. Cool, and I'll give it. I'll give it a six. I want to see us be more attacking. I want to see us try and go. But then you look at the injuries we've got with Afobe and Ojo. We've got good players that, that are not in the in the squad. I felt Mahoney came on and done absolutely nothing, to be honest. I don't like the fact that he doesn't seem to run for the ball. But people are asking for him to get more minutes. Maybe if he started, maybe if he got more minutes, he'd, he'd be more effective. Um, obviously, the boy's done it with another boy that, that's from our own football club, funny enough, um, and Connor. So it, he done it with the boys. And it's good to have a nice little, nice little tree of... Um, lads from my, our football club that, that, that were ball boys today thank you Mill for, for organising that it's always good for the way we look after our members and our, our junior lines there's only one way we can end it we go again Wednesday a point at home to a decent Coventry City side today we're getting we're frustrated to watch but that's rarity ball no one likes us we don't care oh thanks Alf <laughs> I think Zach forgot Zach's fallen, fallen asleep <laughs> I'll try it again no one likes us we, we don't, don't care. care there we go we'll end it with that one